Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel. Check out the link to our merch store in the description down below. We've got hats and shirts and all kinds of stuff there. Uh, it's November 24th today, day before Thanksgiving. So I want to wish everybody out there happy Thanksgiving. And also I would like to mention, we'd like to offer up our thoughts and prayers um, with those, well everybody, but farmers especially in British Columbia and Washington State that are really dealing with the flooding and a lot of really nasty flooding, nasty weather. So um, they're having a hard time out there. So I'd like to just offer our thoughts and prayers for them. Um, today what we're going to do, it's pretty nice out today for this time of the year. A little cooler today, a little windy, but um, can't complain. We could have feet of snow right now, so um, put the heat on in the milk house here for a little bit. It's probably low to mid 30s out right now. Um, anyway, I'm going to take the 1256 and the stock chopper and go up and just chop the corn stalks from that corn we picked earlier. Um, I want to get them chopped. We already did get a little snow on them, but not enough to bother. But um, I want to get them chopped off before we get a bunch of snow and pack them down and then they're harder to get. So anyway, that's what we're going to do right now. Um, I had a few people mention bailing them uh, with the rock and stuff up there. I don't want to take a chance pulling a rock into the baler. I think those tubes are about 50 bucks a piece. So if I bend one of them, I could probably buy two corn stock bales for that price. So. And then somebody else mentioned about the flail chopper, taking that up, chopping it for bedding. Um, I was actually gonna do that. Then we got about an inch and a half of rain, and then we got three inches of snow. So they were all wet, and I didn't wanna mess with it. They're dry enough now, but I got a lot of other stuff I wanna get done, so I'm just gonna go up there and put this rig here, and uh, we'll just mow them down. Uh, they're good fertilizer anyway, good to put back in the soil, even this way, so. I am going to pull this up. I got to check the gearbox, then we'll head up and get some video.
This is the Kettle River. Like I said, the field the elm chopping stocks on is just on the other side of these trees. Starting to see some ice on the river. This is Millie. She just calved Tuesday night. She'll have a calf up in front of her there. And uh, we are very grateful and thankful that that calf was okay because she was born, she was head facing forward, but she was upside down. So Alan and I had to get in there and then Alan's brother Paul had to help pull when we finally got some feet. But we got a live calf, woohoo! And Millie's doing good, she's milking good. But yeah, she still needs milk into the fresh cow bucket for now because her calf's still getting the last little bits of colostrum. My electric wagon yeah yeah it's just a badger chopper box and then i just i don't know how well you can see it over here we used to run it off the power takeoff but that got to be kind of a pain so i just got it hooked up with an electric gear reduction motor and just 
runs on a switch. So that works out a lot better. Especially in the winter time, I don't have to fire up a bunch of tractors. The old skid steer, I could just pull the wagon. I had a hitch on there and do it all with that. So that works out pretty well. Now you're in a nice warm bed with your nice warm coat. I don't wear a coat for bed. I think you're a deal mouth. Hi, Trudy. Hey, <laughs> hey Dorothy. Hi. Nothing better than fresh straw, right? Yep. Hi, Dorothy. See you, yeah. Hey, Dorothy. Dorothy. Where did I hear that meow noise come from? Pumpkin pie.